dernière fois dans la cabine pour accueillir le Gessar, nous pourrions encore avoir avec vous. Mesdames, Messieurs, en ce moment, nous allons arriver en Haïti. S'il vous plaît, restez nos chaises, nous. C'est un petit devant nous en fin mêlée. Assurez que cette sécurité nous vient d'acheter. Mais avec tout un jour, après le passé, pour la dernière fois, à vos côtés, pour ramasser des salles, nous n'avons qu'à gagner la main de Say it again. So we're, we're so, uh, driving. Okay. You see, within 30 minutes from the airport to here, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We saw like over 100 dead people right here. So I spent like three weeks in Haiti helping the people. From day one, I've been helping digging people out of the wall. And my family wanted for me to get back to the state right away. And I said to them, I would feel guilty if I just pack and leave like that. I would feel guilty. I would not feel good. So I need to do something to, to help the people. And when I get back to the state, I start doing my research about earthquake, how to build resistant home, how to do things so the people can feel safe in their home. And I start writing a project. At first, I call uh, a goo in an architectural design from California. I think everybody knows him. He's Dr. Webster, Fred Webster. So he advised me that there is a new technology around, and this new technology can be the uh, result for the earthquake. So I made my research. He actually referred me to another guy from a uh, university in the state. Uh, I spoke with the guy, I got like two weeks of advice from the guy and I started writing my project. We are on the way, we are on the right path. Uh, God willing, within a month or two we should start our construction project in Haiti and everything seems to be fine until now and I believe that God is with us and we're gonna go, we're gonna do good things for the people of Haiti and we're gonna do good things for the glory of God. <laughs> Thanks. And the hurricanes too are bad here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Again, usually kills a lot, a lot of people. And they're rebuilding. Yeah, they're rebuilding. Yeah. Cinder blocks. Same Cinder way. Blocks, you same see? way. Yeah. Same way. You see that? People need to see this. Oh, this yeah. is terrible. Terrible. I think they already forget what happened. Five months later. Yeah. The Americans have very short memory. School. Oh, this is still a school, but they use the backyard for to put tents. And the people live there. They are still living there. The government is not ready to move them yet. So we're trying to see what we can do for the country. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, in that corner. That used to be a five-story uh, apartment that is flattened out. Oh, man. 
see the devastation. Wow. A lot, a lot of people die in this building. And still last week, I think they found some bodies. Oh my gosh. From that, from the rubble. So you're not from the north, you okay. said? Yeah. I am from the northern part of Haiti. Uh, and in the northern part, that's where we have uh, the, our next faulty line. So the scientists, they talking about another earthquake, which will be straight from no, the no, north. No. So there's a lot of things we should do in the northern part of the country to relocate or build sustainable home for the people in the northern part of the country. So a lot of works, a lot of work is waiting for us in this country. Thank you. By this uh, oh my gosh. street, uh, we would call it a boulevard. Look. It's called the oh Delmas. All around you, that's All one of the hotel. most devastated uh, part the hotel was safe for the but this oh my god so what you will see a lot of yeah, wow, houses a lot yeah. of damage we have a lot oh heavy damage I bet you a lot of people like in this part called Delmas I can't believe it yeah. oh my gosh that's so sad we can we can we <laughs> okay the earthquake lasts only 25 seconds but all the devastation that you see a lot of people they just dead. They just hear the noise and they dead. She works at the airport and when she heard the noise, instead of running out, she went back inside the airport. So she could have been dead as well. So that's how a lot of people uh, got killed. Huh. All right. Huh. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Okay. You said this used to be the prime minister's? Yeah, the prime minister's house. And now it's a tent city? Yep, now it's a tent city. Okay, action. Yeah, yeah. that was a house right there. And we have only robots here, and it's flattened out. That's hard working. Very good. Alright, we'll go further down and take a look. I'm gonna drive it, I'll just film as I go. Okay. More tense. More tense. Look at here, like, look at the guys here. Yeah. I will take you to a place where, I'm, where there is like 500,000 tents. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. I will take you to that place. 500,000 tents? Yeah. But by we have, the airport? Yeah, by the airport, I'll show you. We have like a lot of tent cities. A lot of tent cities. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's, it's terrible. We need to do something, something sustainable. This kind of experience, people don't want to leave them again. So we need to change that. We're gonna change that with mighty wall. Are the children afraid to even go back into these buildings? Or? Yes, absolutely. They are afraid. 